Hi everybody, this is Dino. This is my brand new Signature Series workstation sink. It is uh, hammered stainless, rustic matte finish. This is a new Waterstone 5500 in um, brushed nickel. And I'd like to demonstrate how this all works. First of all, this is my normal setup over here. Um, if I need more sink space, I just move this over here and do whatever I need to do. Let's just say that uh, I'm cleaning something up. Okay, I can just move this out of the way. Take this, put it down in the bottom, wash over here, set things off over here. If you notice, my sponge caddy almost always stays in the sink like this. It's virtually never in the way and this will sit right on top of it here's how you prepare a meal you put your food here and you can rinse it off if you need to if you notice no spray on the countertop rinse your food off Chop, 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 scoop into your bowl, and take this to where you're going to be cooking. It's that simple. Um, for Thanksgiving, I use this beautiful black walnut cutting board. Put the turkey on here, carve it. Of course, these things wouldn't be here necessarily. Move these out of the way. Cutting over here, and I'd have a big plate in here that I can take all of the good stuff, put it in there, and again, everything's done in the sink. <clears throat> this is a brand new accessory. It's called Adabowl. Our shop foreman came up with this idea just basically drop this in the sink and it becomes a secondary bowl it has a plug in the bottom just plug this up get that in there nice and good and you start filling up your sink now you've got a double bowl sink so if you've got some small items that you need to soak let's say you've got a whole bunch of forks and knives or whatever you want to soak for a while you can throw them in there same with vegetables but if you've got vegetables Check this out. This fits down inside there. So now you can put your vegetables in the strainer. And once this gets full, it'll take a minute. It's a pretty big bowl. The dimension of this is approximately 12 inches wide. Of course, about 16 and a half inches front to back. And we've got a way to lift this up. You can get up under here all the way across in the front and the back. Just lift this up. And of course, this will also sit over here. So you can let things drip dry. But this gives you the ability of basically taking a single bowl sink and turning it into a double bowl sink in just a few seconds. I don't know if you're going to be able to hear this, but check this out. Hear that? You don't hear any sink sound at all. You just hear water. That's how well insulated our uh, stainless steel sinks are. Believe it or not, our copper sinks without any sound insulation are this quiet as well. It has to do with the metal. Here we go. We've got water in here now. Let's say you've got vegetables in there. You can go back and forth. And really rinse them out really good. And I probably should have turned the water off before that maneuver. Right there. Take them over here. Let them drip dry. Pull the plug. And in just a second, you're back to a single bowl sink. Well, one thing I want to show you about the um, 
Waterstone faucet. It is the spray pattern. Watch this. See that? It's targeted. You can rinse out the sink really fast. You're not going to be chasing peas around there for a half an hour like you do with a kind that has a real wide spray and doesn't really push things around. If you've got pots and pans, you can really rinse them out easily. It's just a great faucet. This is perfectly counterbalanced. It stays wherever you put it, get it up into place, and it's locked in. It's not going to fall down. It's that simple, folks.